I'm Ward Barton, and this is Going Green. As we build the world of tomorrow, we must do it in a way that coexists with our environment. Green building is an essential ingredient to a cleaner future. Let's explore this next story. At the confluence of the Clearwater and Athabasca rivers in the northeastern part of the province of Alberta, Fort McMurray has long served early explorers and later the workers who mine Canada's oil sands for their precious petroleum reserves. In 1995, the city of Fort McMurray and neighboring communities were amalgamated into the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. By area, Wood Buffalo is one of Canada's largest municipalities, consisting of over 68,000 square kilometers, or over 26,000 square miles, slightly larger than West Virginia. The Alberta oil sands account for 97% of Canada's oil reserves, and with the burgeoning industry surrounding the project, the population in Wood Buffalo has far outpaced the available housing. With a climate only suitable for construction work up to six months of the year, housing construction has not been able to keep up with demand, resulting in the average new home price getting close to $800,000, clearly beyond the means of many who need a place to live. Wood Buffalo Housing and Development Corporation, a subsidiary of the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo, is an arm's-length, not-for-profit corporation with a mandate to provide affordable housing alternatives to moderate and low-income residents. The purpose of the corporation is to provide the benefit to the community, and that's our mandate and our main goal. We build to provide for the affordable housing options in the community. Though not-for-profit, the corporation functions much as any private land developer. For almost a decade, it has been responsible for the availability of low to moderate income housing in a region that might not have been in existence without its efforts. All after expenses proceeds are turned right around and reinvested into the corporation's own mission. The corporation stepped right in and started fulfilling a mandate for more affordability. And so because of the efforts that they've taken on over the last several years, we've actually had about 5,200 families that have been helped over that time frame. And we have 172 that are actually homeowners, which you couldn't normally achieve in a market like what we have in Wood Buffalo. So as we go out another year, you'll have another 128 that are easily making this home by having their own structure to call that way. The area is surrounded by crown land owned by the province of Alberta, which allocates some for development of affordable housing. Average temperatures are only above freezing from April to October, and many contractors would rather work on projects that sport a higher price tag. Nonetheless, the corporation has managed to provide over a thousand affordable housing units and with innovative partners such as Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, it has been able to offer appropriate financing as well. Working with Wood Buffalo Housing Development Corporation, the intent was to come up with the greenest possible project that we could given the financial constraints that one always has. Located 370 kilometers or 230 miles south of the Arctic Circle, the corporation's 2007 geo-exchange heating project was the first of its kind this far north. Recent development has carried this environmentally friendly trend further, employing geo-exchange and solar panel technology, as well as eco-friendly off-site modular construction techniques that reduce the overall carbon footprint. Because of its sustainability leadership, uh, the Wood Buffalo Housing and Development Corporation has received international media attention, in particular for the Taiganova Eco Industrial Park. Up here, the park incorporates a habitat friendly design. Wood Buffalo residents will not only be able to live in environmentally friendly structures, they'll be able to work in them too. Our model of funding environmentally friendly housing has two main goals. Number one, it obviously reduces the carbon footprint of every unit that we build on an ongoing basis. But in addition, when you're looking at affordable housing, you try to keep operating costs down because those are always passed on to the people. In a vast country that cherishes its natural heritage, it's only fitting that environmentally responsible places to live and work should take priority for national, provincial, and regional authorities.